Well, the Wichita Falls Business Park has been approved for some infrastructure improvements that total almost $10 million. PJ Green shows us what some of these changes are going to be. Wichita Clutch is just one of several businesses already at the park. City officials hope that this multi-million dollar project can attract other businesses to the park after failing to do so in the past. We hear people talk to us all the time about we need to do things to stimulate this economy. Well, this is part of the infrastructure that makes that happen. Recruiting businesses to a city like Wichita Falls can be tough at times. Although businesses have been coming in steadily in the past few years, some businesses have chosen other cities. They tour every facility, they get with Russ, uh, we go eat dinner with them, and inevitably, you know, I, I hate hearing back the feedback that <clears throat> we just don't have these, you know, shovel-ready sites for them, and they choose an Abilene or somebody else. Because of this, city officials are getting funds ready to make changes to the 525-acre business park. Widening roads to make access easier and improving water and sewage are adjustments to the more than 400 acres of undeveloped land that officials hope will pay off with new incoming businesses. So we think these expenditures and improvements would certainly be a huge advantage for the EDC in attracting uh, future development out there. The project is to be completed in three phases over the next two years with a total cost of almost $10 million. City Council approved for it to be paid for by a 30-year bond where the city will pay $550,000 a year. With the bond being paid for by existing sales tax revenue, which officials say totals over $4 million a year, this project is worth every penny. We've all been a little bit disappointed in the past that we've not developed it further uh, along by now, and I think part of the reason is, is maybe we were a little short on the infrastructure in the front end of it. And this is a $10 million car, uh, project, but it's going to pay dividends uh, in the future, no doubt about it. A project that carries a pretty hefty cost, but it could pay the city back for years to come. Officials hope to be moving dirt on phase one of the project by June. They hope to be done with the entire project by summer of 2023.